So Pete, I understand this layout runs on volunteers. Yes. What do you look for in a volunteer and how could you go about volunteering? Well, we, we would love more volunteers. Right. Because we, we just haven't got enough. We're here for seven weeks, six days a week. We're here from 10 till four, basically, or five, but you know, people start to drift off at four. Um, it's just an interesting staying power. Right. Really wanting to do the job. It's not complicated, you know, but it is a long job. So in other words, you've just got to be patient. So you're on your feet for a, a half a day or, so, or more? Well, right? yeah, you're on your feet. We do, we do feed you. Right. You do get tea and coffee. Yeah, so we're looking for volunteers, whether it's a morning or the afternoon or all day. We, mm -hmm. We'll teach you the job. All you need to do is concentrate and just have a bit of fun. Do you need any particular knowledge of model railways? No, or we'll teach you everything you need to know. All you need to know is just learn the job okay. and, be, and, and be able to follow instructions. Okay. That's all we need. And how do you operate the layout? How is it being Off controlled? tablets. Okay, so everybody gets a tablet yeah. and, and then they just operate their trains? Yeah, you don't have to bring anything. We'll feed you, give you tea, and you can see we've got a good crowd and it's good fun. And how does somebody get in touch to volunteer then? Just turn up at the cathedral. Okay. Monday to, you know, Monday to Saturday, any day, we'll find a job for you. Okay, and is there a particular day of the week where it's quieter or where you're... Tuesday and Wednesdays, I'm not here. Because right. I'm, I'm working for the railway those days. Yes. And, and that's the days we really need volunteers. Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesdays? Yes. Okay. All but right. any day for us is perfect. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll go and have a look at the people operating the layout now, now and, and see, uh, see what they're doing. Perfect. Thanks, Dave. So, Ted, you're operating the layout. I understand you're new to this. To this layout? Yes. Yeah, not to railways, you right. understand. OK. So, is this the first time you'd seen this layout, or were yes. you involved? Oh, OK. First time you've seen it. So, uh, we have a section of line from Rugby to London. Yes. Uh, I'm operating the down line, which is, we always go down to London. OK. No, we go up to London, so sorry. We're going down to Rugby. Okay. Which, there's four lines on this yes. layout, I understand. So our one, where we're, in, we're standing now, is nearest to us. And this Midland Pullman, you can see, yes. is the train that I'm driving. So I'm sitting in the cab. This I'm is your throttle, is it, here? Yes, I'm, a, I'm virtually in the cab. Ah. OK. So I notice you're not, you've got no wires. You're free to walk around. Yes, I'm absolutely wireless. OK. Yeah. So, uh, so this train's going to carry on through, and the other train on the down line is. You can see if you if you pan over to the board there. Yes. You can see the down line is the top line. Yeah. You can see the engine's number on the Four, uh, three, left five, hand six. end. Yeah. Yep. And the red is your. And the so in effect, you can see the second train's coming to the section now. Right and it's, a, it's following the one ahead on single yellows. So I might call you an advanced operator because you seem to be running more than one train at a time. Well, that's right. That's how it should be, you see. You can't only have one train between Rugby and London, can you? And you don't seem stressed out about it. You'd never get any passengers there. So we'll, we'll speed him up a bit for you. We're just accelerating there. And how do you operate well, the tablet? How do you accelerate? Uh, I can, so, well, we'll do it when the Midland Pullman arrives. Okay. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll slow him down now. Okay, so here's the, the Midland Pullman now. He's running quite slowly. And if I move this down here... Yes. ..he'll go to stopped. Right. Or if I move it up... He'll accelerate to restart. I noticed it didn't jump straight away. It took its time. That's that's yes. the design, is it? It is. As, yeah, the, they have acceleration rates rate set into them, right. which can be very slow. But um, that's set by the layout. It is. Group. It's okay. set for each loco. Right. So this has got several locos programmed in it. There's my other train. Oh, he's around there. We're okay. Okay. So this has got those five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven locos. Okay. Or trains. Yes. Okay. So the first train that is coming round next is 
the class 47. So you've got two on the board. On yes, the you can see two on that length of track now. So those guys will be looking at that and thinking, well, yeah, there's two, two trains on this track. What's going on? You're a busy operator. Yes. OK, so here's the Avanti coming through again. OK. Okay, so all's well. We've got one train on this side and one train on that, so they're roughly 50 miles apart. Okay. Okay, so we can see again on the board. Okay, so we've got one train, the other train, the Class 47, is uh, roughly in the middle. It's coming towards the end of right. the main line, if you will. So this allows you to see where the train is without yes. having to actually physically go That's and check right. it. That's right. And as long as I don't pass a red signal... Yes. So I've got two yellows now after that one. Yes. And then you can just see the number digits come up. 3956. Yes, and, and now you can see the train in section. Right. OK, so he might just get a green. Now, what that would actually be, because there are two yellows there, that would be... So he just got a green got a then. Green. Uh, that the the one he's just gone through would have been double yellow. Yes. Double yellow means that the next yellow you come to, or the next signal you come to, will be yellow, and yellow means the next signal you come to will be red. Fascinating. Okay, but of course because it's dynamic, then the so people aren't signals, pressing buttons for signals. No, these are automatic signals. Okay. But the driver is working to the signals, and right, that's okay. how it normally is yes. on the railways. So the people over there will get a bit bored soon because it's the same two locos going are you going now. To switch them up in a minute, or are you yes. taking the? Is that but the easy option? This is the easy option okay. because so I've got you neither in me. Oh, absolutely. But you see, what I need to do next is to move these three up so that I can put this one in that that uh, loop yes. at the back end. But at the moment, the back end's full. Right. So it's until until I do some shunting. Um, right. So we were going to go right round to that corner okay. over there. All right. If you stand here now. Right. Okay, so our train is this one that's going away from us. Yep, I can see that. Okay, you can see the first signal's already gone red. Yes. Uh, you can see one down there that's a green. Yep. And then the next one at the far end's an amber. Okay. Okay, because the Avanti train's somewhere. That is gone, so we've got two greens now. Brilliant. Okay, so I could. Increase speed now, because I'm so I've increased speed to maximum. Okay, and maximum is a realistic speed for that low uh, Yes, right. well, it should as long as it stays on the track. Yeah. Right, got it. Okay. When the signals change, it's a, it's fascinating, isn't it? It adds a new yes dimension to look at. Yeah. Okay, so here's the Midland Pullman coming round again. If you look over this side. Yeah, got it. Okay, so... So all you're doing is keeping them separated, am I right? That's what the signals are for. Yeah. The signals is to keep trains from getting into the same section together. Because, of course... Well, we wouldn't want that. When every train is like five or 600 tonnes at, uh, you know, 100 miles an hour or whatever they do these days, that's a huge amount of energy... Right. ..if they uh, come to grief. And on the signals, and from a signalling perspective, you're OK as a train driver to go through a yellow signal, is that right? Yes, yellow is a warning. OK. Now, on the roads, yellow means stop. Yes. But on, uh, on the railways, yellow means the next signal may be at red. Last year I got into trouble because I, uh, I was confusing yellow with amber and they made it clear that amber is found on a road and yellow is found on a yes. railway. Yeah. So I, I, I definitely got told off several oh, good. times. Oh, good. Now, if anything goes wrong, and if I say in the shunting, touch two together, then it's uh, a pound in the box. Is it? Yes. Is there an emergency stop that you have? Uh, no, I have to... I haven't got an emergency stop for everything. Right. I have to get to that loco to press it, stop. 
How do you see the loco, the other loco you're currently driving? Is it on a separate list or do you have to dial it up? Okay, so if I press that, that was the class 47, there's where's the Avanti gone? Is that it? Yeah, there he is there. And so that's so him running there, you see, and that's really his speed. Ah, uh, now what he's done, you see, he's chopped himself off. He's passed the signal, right. so he's now got a red. Okay. So he's now got to ring the signalman to ask him if he can pass it, because he can't necessarily see the signal beyond. Right. Okay. So a bit of a wiggle. Is that done so with you can see the signal beyond is a green. Yes. I'll send you your form. I'll send you your form. Stop the next flag, please. Yeah, yeah. The 47 is running as well. It's all right. We've got it on video. Yeah, yeah. We've got it on video. So I've just had my hand smacked, as you've seen. Pound in the box. I hope you don't put the rates up. Okay, so so the event is now coming round here. Yes. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Right, what I've got to do is you slow this fella right down so that we come up to this red signal and stop and stop. Okay. This is why the public aren't allowed into signal boxes while they're ah, in operation. They stop that now, have they? So this one's got to wait now, and yes. he's in front of the signal, so it will clear. See, it's gone to amber. Yes. Okay, so now he can, he and, can move on now. And the yellow is telling him that the next signal is, is at red. red. Okay. And you can see it's at red down there. Yep. Okay. So he knows that he might as well go a bit slower and hope that the signal changes in front of it. And he's got a yellow now yeah. again. Now sometimes if you're driving down like the old North Circuit in London, mm -hmm. if you only drive at 40 miles an hour, then the, all the traffic lights change in front of you. Right. Yeah, and then you get these bloody whiz kids, you go whazzing off and then of course you have to stop. Right. Yeah, and then you're in your little A35 or something and you carry on, pass them all. Right, yeah. at the moment the event is coming round here. Yeah. And what we'll do is stop it and start ringing. I do hope it's changed the point. Yes. Right, if I stop this here, then we can go from start. Now, to start with, you select this to select which train you want. Right. So, just for the sake of argument, we'll start with the Avanti. So you select that, and then you just put your finger on here and move it up or tap it to start and then it will go. Alright? Yep. So now we're off. Okay, okay. And that will run all the way around. Pop something's off. Now as this goes round. This is number 3956, the two numbers being the first two numbers of the class and the last two numbers of the local. As they pass those red lights over there, they will pick up the number of the train, which will display itself over there. Yeah. And we're the top road over there. See? 3956 come up so there. You're using the 3596 yeah, right. instead of a head so coat. Grab that. Now, you can go full speed with that pendolino, so you can go right up to the top. And you can hear it going, and you can watch it going through the lights. And the lights change as you pass them, as it would on the real railway. No, I'm used to this. So I'm good. Well, this has got things I don't understand, like flashing yellows and things like that, but I don't quite know how they work. Right, you want to slow down a bit now, because you've got to go through that loop. So come down a bit. And bring it down to a stop by the board there.
It says stop. If you press that, yep. to, if, yeah, because if you don't press that, it creeps. Right, we now need to want to run that 85, so we need to change the point to check you're on the right one. Down fast, down fast, and if you want to lean over and change the point, then we can take the 85 out. And so, one of that is you can do it there. <coughs> So go to that orange bit in the corner there. Look for the 85 up there. 85, 2, 6. Yeah, that's it. Press that. And now, with a bit of luck, you'll have the 85 move. There you are. As simple as that. Yeah. So you drive that round. As it goes past the RFID, You'll see the number come up on the top left hand corner. It'll, the, the red will come up. You can go quite quick with that one because they, they're speed limited anyway. There you are. So you bring it round and you'll come in behind that. Yep. And the only thing you've got to manually do is not hit the one being in front. <laughs> yeah, that's usually a form one, that. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, everything else on here is practically fail safe. Look that. Right, you're coming down now. You want to slow down a bit to go through the double curve next to the point. And there you are. Great. Press the stop button at the bottom. Right. Now the next one you've got is 370. So the corner. 370 is the APT. Your points are set from before, so you're away. Now, so come and walk around with me. If you watch here, you can see all the signals change as you go through. Three, two, two, one. Yeah. Two, two, one. Um, See, I've got it on here, but I've never used it. You just download Z21. So how would you describe the experience so far? Fine. Well, it's quite simple. Yeah. Do you find the mimic boards and the track occupancy helps you in your operating? Um, yes. Having, yes. Yes. No, go on. I'm not used to large layers like this. Right. Because you know, I'm obviously an O gauge. Okay. You know, we never. I'm DCC. Right. Um, but not to this. Not to this level. Chris, you're currently operating the layout. Can you tell us what would be involved in learning to operate this? Yep. Sure. So I'm currently operating the up fast line. Um, which has got uh, five different trains on it. And what we're basically doing is sending them round um, and bringing them back in on alternate fiddle yard lines. So we're currently operating this 87 here, which is coming out on, so these are my two fiddle yard lines okay. here. That's my 87. And you can see on my uh, pad, I've got two cabs going, and this is my 87 cab here. Right. 
And so we've taken that out and that will go round and through the scenic air, through the, through the scenic section and we'll bring it back onto an alternate fiddle yard. Right. So we're going to bring it on the back of this fiddle yard here. So the points are set to do that, are they? The points are set to do that and the points are over here. So it's, so it's quite simple. These are my two fiddle yard lines, okay. labelled up fast. Um, and so the green section shows me the uh, route that's been set. So I'm just going to bring it in on the back of this fiddle yard. So it's just going to go into, into the uh, scenic section now. I can increase the speed a bit. And then we can see it come in. It's 87 something it starts, does it? Yeah, 87001 Royal Scott. So you're operating one at a time? Uh, I'm operating one at a time, but as you get better, you can do two at a time and you can shuttle them, which is why I've got two cabs running. Right. But we'll just keep it simple for the moment. So we're still on 80, the 87, nearly at full speed, and it'll come out at the bottom. Right. So we're waiting for your train to arrive. And there it is. And so it's going to come in on this line here and come in here. And I'm going to stop it before it gets to the Pendolino. Okay. You make it look so easy, Chris. It is really simple. Is it really? It is, it is simple. You just got to keep your wits about you a bit to make sure nothing's happening with the trains, no derailments, that sort of thing. How long do you think it would take someone to pick this up if they'd never been here before? Oh, 10 minutes. Got ya. 10 minutes. And now we're going to go to the other end. Chris. Yep. Yep. Very good. Well done. Welcome to the cathedral. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go to the other end of the fiddle yard. And we're going to set the points now. This is not your average uh, bedroom layout, is it? it? You actually have to walk. Yeah, you, ha you do have to walk. and It's 64 feet. Uh, so now going to choose uh, Tornado off my controller, which is this picture here, and I can just push my finger up. Is yours a posh controller where you can see all the trains? I can see all, I, I can see all the trains, but we can filter them so that we can only see the ones dedicated to the lines you're running, right. uh, which makes it really simple because if I just press this here, you can see I've just got five trains that I'm controlling. Got it. Uh, so I just tap, That's so logical, tap the it? picture, yeah. And you're not tripping over wires? That's it. That's it, which is what we were doing last year. Yes. Yeah. And that's basically it. That's how you, that's how you control the trains. Now, we're too moving. I, I'm, so I'm, <laughs> just going to, I'm just going to shuttle these ones up a bit. It's nice to be able to do that. So that they're ready for the, for the next run. So where are the operators? I can't see them. They seem to have the wrong the uh, crowd. So we've got one over there, yourself. There's another one at the far end. Is there a fourth one hiding, lurking somewhere? Uh, maybe on the outside. I don't know. Thanks for that, Chris. Quite all right.